Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about the Jamp app catalog. This is some new software from Jamp, relatively new, maybe only a year old. And what it does is it uses a MDM command to update software. So first things first, you're going to need to go into your settings, global cloud service connection area and use your Jamp ID email address and password. This is the same one you use to see your Jamp license and that's what you're going to need to use to enable this connection. I'll put a link to that like URL below so you can see it for your own instance because it can be a little confusing. After that, we're going to go into the Jamp app catalog and we're going a little fast here so let's just slow this down. Alrighty, computers, Mac apps, we're going to click new. It defaults to Mac store apps. Here we're going to choose Jamp app catalog and click next. We can see we have 123 apps in the catalog at the time of this recording. We're just going to search for the one we want, which is Chrome. Browsers is probably a very common app for a lot of people to do packages on. So we're adding this in and we're just showing this step one more time. Okay, now it's in there. We're going to put it in the category of browsers and then pick a target group, which is can be a smart group or ecstatic group. So we're going to use a smart group and we want to update our smart group. So here we go. We've copied our version number because that's what we're going to use for our Boolean logic for our Google Chrome update smart group, which already exists. So we're going to edit our criteria. Application title is Google Chrome. We're copying in, pasting in the latest version number. And for application version operator, it is set to is not. So we're going to save this out check what we got we got 193 computers in the scope that need to be updated so we know what's going to happen when we target this it's going to go to all 193 of those clients next we have our configuration profiles which are app specific so this configuration profile is what the mdm is using to install this software through a management command and it will overwrite other configuration profiles you may have for an app the same app assuming you installed it as a pkg for example and we'll get more into that later on just a heads up if you're interested stick around for that okay User notification options, we've chosen once every hour. We put in a notification message of please update Chrome and a custom force quit message. Another disclaimer here, if you have configuration profiles that aren't application specific and are user notification specific that override these, your users aren't gonna see the notifications. So notifications can be very annoying to users and I actually do have configuration profiles in place that stop these from displaying sometimes. So just keep that in mind as you configure these and test these, how different configuration profiles can affect the outcome, uh, which is your deployment goal for the app specifically. So some of them may conflict and some of them may not conflict. Those are all things you want to review and testing. Okay, so we got Chrome in there. We got the green light on there. It's good to go. We're going to do this one more time with one more app. And this one is Firefox. So this one's also on version 111.0.1, much smaller version number, much smaller company. So we'll go ahead and add this in. And we're going to do a category of browsers again. Pull our version number onto the clipboard. Update our smart group once again. Application titles Firefox. Application version operator is not. So we've put the, because we want it to collect every computer that's not on the latest version. And we'll view that before so we know how many we're going to. I'm just not showing it here because that's just one more thing I need to blur. All right, now I got to hunt that down. Hunting things down in list is not always easy for me, but we just go alphabetically, find it, 
click our configuration profile, and then we'll go through user notifications. So we've do, done a custom notification frequency of once an hour. We're gonna enable limits, and we're not gonna do any messages on this one. And this one's a little less pressure because Firefox, for better and for worse, is not everybody's primary browser. Most people uh, who have Apple computers in this JSS uh, are using Chrome. All right, so that is that. It's all set to go. Let's take a look and see what this looks like on a client computer that we're using for testing. Okay, so back to Chrome, we can see our deployment status of 193 in progress, zero installed. So now I know that I can pick up my test client and I'm testing live here, which you should never, ever do. Always scope to like a single one your first time you're doing this. Uh, this kind of came back to haunt me. And I uh, will talk about that soon. So, okay, we're on our test computer here. And we can see our Chrome version is 1.1.0. And we need to be on 1.1.1. Blah, blah, blah. And it's... 1047 a.m. So this computer is not getting new Chrome installed and it's not going to install from self-service like a policy. It's not going to have a trigger, right? So what I can do on my end is run sudo jamp recon, sudo jamp check-in to try and get it to reach out to the MDM to ask for what it needs. And that's what I did. So now we go back to the computer's record in the MDM and we're looking at the management history and just trying to see what's going on here So we can see some failed commands for some other apps in this case It's numbers and pages and I know what's going on here. So I'm just gonna fix this really quick and uh, These are scoped incorrectly, which is why they're failing. They're not authenticating against their VPP licenses, so I'm gonna fix this for numbers here as extra fun to know and if you already know how to do this by reading these types of logs great if not you learn something new today so now that's license assigned we saved it out i can remove those from the management history and they should push out and install just fine okay so now we have some other commands from 2022 not worried about those we're back to three pending commands and like a thousand commands that have worked really well those are the ones from last week and then there's one from today We'll cancel all those out so no more pending commands no more failed commands in this log reviewing our configuration profiles we can see just our general stuff nothing jumping out too broadly here so we're just trying to figure out okay what's going on it's been six minutes it's 10 50 now since we made this setting why isn't chrome updating yet right so we're still stuck. Um, and when you get stuck like this, it's a good time to restart the computer. Get a cup of coffee and go back to your logs. So that's what we're going to do. First things first, let's document the version number Chrome's on now so we don't have to keep looking it up just in case it goes to its next version number right after reboot. So we'll just copy and paste that onto a sticky note from the About Chrome page. So we got our current version number, and now we're ready to restart. And just so we're, we've gonna, we're gonna quit Chrome too in preparation for this. Maybe quitting Chrome will help it go. And at this point, uh, open it again. Okay, still same problem. All right. Now let's read some documentation. I'll put a link to this documentation in the description below, but one thing I can see here when we keyword search trigger is there uh, in the other considerations, I would have written this constraints, other constraints instead of considerations, uh, is that there's no custom triggers. So you can't trigger this. You just uh, can't use an MDM. Because this is an MDM command, we can, can't can use the champ binary to install everything, which is what we're seeing, right? The MDM command has been pushed out, and we're just like, it's just like kind of stuck in 
the internet. <laughs> it's stuck in the void. And we still don't have Chrome installed. We don't have that clean cause and effect of installing things with the JAMP bin binary. The time delay is very annoying when it comes to using the JAMP app catalog, especially when it comes to testing because we're just sitting here trying to figure out what's going on. And now we can see that Chrome is gone and we can run our pseudo JAMP check-in again, but it's just gone. So we pushed out the command or the uh, JAMP app install MDM command at, you know, at this point about 20 minutes ago and now Chrome's gone. So now let's go back to our computer, check laws, logs again, check in policy log. It's not going to be a policy log, but I just wanted to put eyes on that real quick. Now we can see our management command and we can see, okay, remove Chrome configuration profile. Why is it doing that? Remove Chrome. Okay. Configuration profile. So now we know it's doing something there going down. All right. App installers. And now it looks like it installed Chrome. So it installed Chrome 12 minutes ago and then it removed a configuration profile to allow screen recording for standard users to approve. So now I know, okay, Chrome's been installed on this computer according to the log and that other configuration profile I have conflicts with the configuration profile that's being used to install Chrome. And now my users who are standard users, when they do a Google meet, they're not going to be able to share their screen. So we've discovered a couple problems here. All right, we're back on client computer. Chrome's still gone. Batteries at 100%. We really just need to reboot this computer and take a break. So let's let's do that. Should have done this a while ago. Another user's logged in. That could be causing some of the problems. Um, we're logged in as local administrator. I don't know. Let me know if you think it is and why you think it is in the comments below if you're a better at, at this than I am, which is totally possible. I'm just a Mac admin trying to figure it out like everybody else. Computer has rebooted. We will log in as local administrator and check for Chrome. And it's there. All right, let's recap what we've covered. We've talked about how we can use the JAMP app catalog to install software to client computers like Google Chrome. We've talked about how this uses a configuration profile and you need to do a lot of testing with this because configuration profiles can conflict with each other and you wanna make sure that everything is peaceful and you got no drama with your configuration profiles. In any case, that's all I got for you today. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.